Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages. To my returning subscribers, welcome back, and to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. I just want to say I appreciate all of your likes, your subscribes, your comments, your shares, and everything that you share with me in the channel. If a reading doesn't resonate, please don't try to force it to fit. Please feel free to take the roles and reverse them as needed. And if anything is upsetting or it doesn't feel like it goes in your story, please feel free to leave that message for somebody else or you can always come back and watch the message later. I hope everybody's doing well today. And we're just going to go ahead and hop right into the message. So the first card out is Hunter. This says Stalker of Prey, Aim, Strategy, Pursuit, Survival. And then the next card out is Challenger. So there could be somebody who is stalking you or someone who is doing something strategic. And it's like you, you are up for this challenge. There's something about you and somebody else being opposing parties. You and this person could... Um, fight in different ways there's something about either communicating in different ways or your style of combat is different I don't know how that's significant but that's what I'm getting there's something here about a problem and um, you and this person could be trying to engineer some kind of a solution there's something about complex systems here and there could be something that's misunderstood because of the two energies that are different There could be three energies here. There could be somebody else who's here who's taking a look at something um, to try to figure out some kind of a solution. Uh, battle is here. So this says knight, keeper of honor, armor, battle, loyalty. So someone um, could be making a decision from a place of loyalty or from a place of honor. I just heard your honor. Diviner is here. So this is a seer of the unseen, foresight, insight, cosmic connection. So this could be something um, that you predicted or there's something about someone's insight here. Whenever it comes to a plan. So you could have predicted the outcome of whatever this plan is. Whenever it comes to whatever this is talking about. These two opposing energies. There's something about an Avenger. So this says memory, resolve, hatred, plotting. And then this one says revolutionist. This says champion of transformation, freedom fighter, pursuer of welfare and justice. So this could have something to do um, with a legal battle. Because I heard your honor and because this is talking about opposing parties and there's something about um, a solution and justice. This looks like two different energies here with the Avenger and uh, Diviner here. So let's see what else this is. Actually, I'm going to switch decks. Oh, wow. The hunter came out again. And these are two different decks. And one is an archetype type deck. And the other one is um, the deck where it's like explaining. Uh, it's also archetypes, but it's like the, the person. Um, so there's something about someone's heart. This could be someone who's like hunting you down by way of your heart. They could be using something that you love or um, something to do with feelings in order to stalk you or in order to, and I, I'm not talking stalking like, I mean, this could be an actual stalker, but what I'm getting is um, like someone is trying to hunt you down.
What else is here? There's something about you fighting for justice through love or because of love or because of something that you love or something to do with your heart or something to do with wanting to move on into a calmer space. Um, there's something about your foresight and the connection that, that you have with the divine regarding how you're planning something. The comic has come out here with the mask. So there's someone who... Um, Someone very foolish is going to be seen. There's something about someone's mask showing. Let's see. This could be the person that you're fighting with. Or there's something about you looking at someone like they're a joke. So it's like you're up for the challenge. You don't look at them like they are a challenge. Let's see what else. The star has come out, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, there's something about um, the correct direction or someone's north node or the right path whenever it comes to a collaboration or when it comes to a plan. So there's, there's cards here confirming that um, whoever is doing something from a place of honor and loyalty, it's like that's the correct path whenever it comes to whatever this plan is. There's someone else here who's going to be experiencing a tower. This person is doing something from a place of betrayal or hatred. This person's doing something from a place of um, hunter and prey or trying to use um, pretend in a situation. There's something here about that. This could have to do with a home, a business, um, some kind of a structure. There's something about this structure falling so I'm seeing two energies here that are challenging each other. And there could have been some kind of mis miscommunication, but I'm seeing someone who is doing something from the wrong place. So it's like this is showing like good versus evil or something where it's like hatred versus um, someone who is divine or someone who is connected to the divine. And there's something about a plan here. That someone has been constructing. There's also something here about patience. Like waiting for this plan to unravel. Whoever this is. There's there's energy here with the Three of Cups. There's going to be some kind of a celebration. Or there's going to be somebody wanting to reconcile. Once this tower hits. Whoever this is. is um, they have the energy of betrayal on them. So if this is someone coming in wanting to reconcile with you, they've already betrayed you before. This is someone who could be taking action towards you. Whoever this is could work in construction. They could be a supervisor. There's something about blueprints or planning. Um, there's something here about technology. So someone could work in tech. Someone could be... Yeah, there's... The overall energy here is judgment in reverse. So there's something about poor judgment whenever it comes to whatever this plan is. And I'm getting someone who thinks that they're smarter than somebody else or that they can outsmart the divine or maybe they are somebody who does not believe in God or they're someone who is not um, spiritual at all. Whoever this is, there's something about justice showing up here in a very, very clear way because somebody is seeing through someone's mask. And it's weird because the, the way that I'm seeing this person is like someone who's unamused by this behavior. So if there is, is a person judging the situation, the person who's making some kind of call or 
uh, bringing in some kind of a solution. This person is unamused by this behavior, and that is what's bringing in the tower. Is there anything else from this deck? The Ten of Cups. So you need to know that whenever this happens, um, whenever this tower happens, there's emotional fulfillment here for you. There's something about fighting for justice or the welfare of others. And then justice again. But I saw justice on this other card first, and it's out here. There's emotional fulfillment because there's justice coming in when it, with whatever the situation is. I'm unable to speak correctly, so there could be something about that. Someone could feel um, speechless whenever this this tower hits or this judgment is rendered. Whoever this person is, they are... It's like they're, they're trying to hold on to something. I'm hearing a song. Uh, it's saying, I guess I didn't know. So someone could come to you and tell you that they didn't know something like that. They are like someone's still trying to hold on to a situation and saying that they didn't know something, or you could be given some information that you didn't know. Or there's a lot of energy of different people saying that they didn't know something. They didn't know this. They didn't know that. And that's the reason that they made a poor judgment or a poor decision. I'm hearing something else. It's something about ignorance and the law. Like someone could be saying that they didn't know something was illegal or they didn't know doing something. And it's like somebody else is telling them that's not a good enough reason to not knowing something isn't going to get you like it's not going to get you out of trouble or something. This could have to do with proof of something in a situation or what this tower has to do with is someone being greedy and there could be proof of that. There could be an apology that's coming towards you with this person who wants to reconcile. There's also energy here of if you were to reconcile with this person, it would be poor judgment. Um, whoever this is, this person, it's like they, they did something where they use poor judgment and now they're having to look at something from a different perspective. And that the different perspective, it's what's causing them to take action towards you or take action in a situation where poor judgment was used. Something about the moon could be significant or moon cycles. Um, I'm hearing the... Romeo and Juliet, the scene where she's saying, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon. So there's something about this person, because the moon is connected to emotion, so, and, and I think that's what she's talking about whenever she's talking to Romeo about his feelings. So there's something about this person, their emotions are all over the place, like depending on the moon phases or the moon cycles, and that might not be literal. This could just be something where, Depending on this person's temperament, that's how they behave. There could be something about mania here. And someone being forced to look at a situation. There's good news coming in or there's a message coming in. It looks like this message is coming in about justice and emotional fulfillment. There's a king of pentacles in the upright here. So this could be someone. Um, it 
This is coming out over the top of the Four of Pentacles in Justice, though, so, and also the Tower and the Ten of Swords. So this could be someone who um, is having a tower over greed or finances or something to do with their stability. Whoever this is feels foolish or there's something about them looking foolish for trying to challenge... We're trying to challenge someone. Or trying to challenge a situation. There's also something here about someone being able to see your face and someone not being able to see someone else's face. Like something about the dark and the light. Or this person could have um, come in pretending to be a certain way or in a certain image. There's something about that. There is um, a new beginning here in communication with something or a lot of messages or a lot of back and forth. What is what is this communication? Hang on. We, the bottom of this deck is the emperor. So... If you are dealing with a masculine energy or if this is a father, a father figure, this could be somebody that you have children with, this could be a boss, there's something about um, messages here, this could be from this person, there's something about them feeling burdened and um, burdened with the amount of progress that they are not making because there's something about them having to give something or balance a situation that they feel foolish in. So let's check something else. So let's clarify. Let's clarify what this good news is first. Show me the page of wands. This good news has something to do with confusion that's being cleared up or something to do with a lie or the good news has something to do with this poor judgment because it's out here again. There's delayed success. There's uh, the good news has something to do or there's news of something about um, stagnation or poverty, hardship, some kind of a scandal. There's some information coming out about that where there's going to be emotional fulfillment and justice. Um, show me this King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles could be someone who is very moody. There's something about unrequited love here. This person is a troublemaker. This is the information that's coming out. Or there's something about justice for this person who is a troublemaker. Um, this says rebellion, personal beliefs. So somebody could have been rebelling because of a belief that they had. And there's something here that's ba being balanced by way of tradition, ethics, morality. Somebody's going to have to conform to a situation, but it's like, that's, what's been lopsided with this, um, with whoever this is that's showing up as a troublemaker. And there is something here with the Knight of cups about their emotions so something about the way that this person behaves has something to do with their emotions. Yeah, and then the King of Cups is here. It's like sometimes they're moody and immature and um, behaving in, a, in the way of a troublemaker. Um, they could be doing something very uncaring or anxious or overly emotional. And then it's like depending on what day it is, then they'll be compassionate, caring, affectionate, friendly. Or they come off as all of these things to people other than you. But there's something about this person thinks that, that this person thinks that they are behaving in a way that nobody else can see. But it's like they, it's something about being covert. Like this person thinks that they are going to be able to do something to you where you see that they are being hateful. You feel that they're being hateful. You know that they're trying to ruin something or destroy a situation. But they think nobody else <laughs> can see this. And that only makes me laugh because it's like, what do they think that is, what do they think is covering this up? And I just heard charm. So there's something about that. This person thinks that they're so charming that they're not going to be seen. 
they think that they're being cloaked. They, there's something about their face not being seen, but yours being seen. There could be something where this person thought that they distorted your image enough that it would cover up whatever they were doing. So show me the Ace of Wands. There's something um, in all of this that has been, been manifested that has to do with um, boundaries. And there's something about healing here. Um, whatever is showing up, whatever this news is about this poor judgment and um, whatever the scandal is to do with this masculine energy, there's something about you manifesting something by way of your willpower or something that you're creating or something where you're focusing on boundaries. It's like that's what's bringing in the new beginning. So... And then last but not least, what are these messages? Show me the Eight of Wands. There's messages about a lost opportunity, lack of funds, scarcity, insecurity. There's something about um, the messages are coming from somebody from your past. The messages are coming from someone that you could have children with. This person could be messaging you saying that they don't have any money or that they are reflecting back on memories this person um this card just fell out so this person could be in a lot of anxiety there's something about nightmares insomnia anxiety fear i said anxiety twice so that could be significant um <laughs> so let's see what else do these messages say the messages are also something about this person having a lack of choices because they feel you moving on from trauma they see there's a transition. You could be, the messages that you're receiving could be from multiple parties. There's something about a transition, better days coming, some kind of relief. So what I'm seeing here is two people. There's two opposing energies. There's something about a tower, something very unexpected, and justice is attached to it. Whatever this is, there's messages about this person who they're all over the place with their emotions and it's like you manifested something brand new from a place of being battle weary, but having a lot of willpower to continue to put up boundaries for yourself and move on into calmer waters. And that's exactly what you're getting. There's something where the messages you could be receiving could be someone saying that they feel trapped, that they feel like they missed an opportunity with you. They could come in and try to reminisce. This person could come in saying that they miss you. There's something about them being insecure or... I'm getting a lot of like them not having money. Um, the seven of swords is at the bottom of the deck. So this is deceit, theft, scam, or cheating. Let's see what else is down here. Impulsive, gossiper, haste, boisterous with the page of swords in reverse. This card says disharmony, divorce, breakup, disagreement, the two of cups in reverse. And then the eight of swords is feeling trapped, isolated, victimized, helpless. So this that's what the energy is here of this of like the information that you're going to be receiving about someone about whoever it is that um, this tower is attached to see Libra Aquarius um, Taurus is here let's see what else actually we're going to switch back to this deck Anything else, Spirit? So the Two of Wands is here and the Knight of Swords. In a, a very quick fashion, you may have to make a decision or you're going to be like shot ahead to a crossroads or there's something about um, like skipping spaces. I'm seeing a Monopoly board where it's like you jump to the place of moving on from a situation from a trend there's a transition and you're going to be put at a crossroads somebody could be trying to communicate with you when you get to this crossroads or this could just be happening very fast there could be some kind of rapid change we'll go ahead and clarify these in a second mm, i'm hearing that song again the shot through the heart and you're to blame you give love a bad name. And then the Six of Cups came out. So there's something about somebody from your past who could be coming in trying to communicate with you. 
because they are at a place where they feel like they have a lack of choices and there's something about their mood or their energy at that time also. So it's like they shift again into some other moody energy. Here's a 10 of wands. So there's something about this person feeling very burdened. Um, you could be moving. There's two cards here uh, with the 10 of wands and the six of swords. This is energy of moving. So maybe you're deciding to move or there's something about putting this down and just moving on. So even if you're not physically moving, there's something about this part is done. This part is over. It gets left behind. Um, the cycle is closed out with all of these wands. I'm feeling the energy of relief, like the thought that that's what's, um, it's like something looks evaporated. Let's see. And then death has come out, as I've said that, and the Queen of Cups. So there's something about um, a transformation, a transition from whatever this energy is into the energy of the Queen of Cups or feeling love or empathetic to a situation or something about um, being sensitive to to energies around you during whatever this transformation is at the bottom of this deck is the three of wands it's it's like i'm not seeing you being sympathetic to this person i'm seeing you releasing there's something about you moving on or turning your back to a situation or having patience because it's like you're being allowed that. There's something about a release here, a transformation, a transition. So we're going to clarify these cards. So whoever this is that's coming in at the crossroads, this person is selfish, overly sensitive, smothering, spiteful. Uh, the Queen of Cups in reverse is out here. And then this also says cynical, low energy, pessimistic, boring. Um, there's something about immature, smothering energy that's coming in when you get to this crossroads. There could be messages from this person. So you could be dealing with a feminine energy or someone who is in feminine energy. There's something about whoever this is. Um... They could be having some kind of a breakdown. There's something about this person hitting rock bottom and messaging you or um, you meet them at this crossroads. That's all I keep getting. There's something about a crossroads for you and someone else. So you could be going separate ways from someone who is in this energy. There's something or there's someone else here, like a third party who is attached to whatever this is, where it's like you're going to be rid of whoever this person is. And you're going to be allowed hope. There's something about managing tasks, putting this down, saying no. Um, because this is a situation that has made you feel burnt out. I think this is showing like how you identify what energy this is talking about. For those of you where you might be confused on who this feminine energy that is that's showing up. It's like you and them meet at the crossroads. I'm hearing the crossroads of that Bone Thugs and Harmony song where it's like I can't understand what the lyrics are that I'm hearing because it's too fast. That could be significant. Somebody could come in and be that's because the word smothering is on this card. There's something about this person could come in and try to talk very fast to you or be talking a lot. Or there's something about chatter. This person could be having a breakdown like right in front of you. Because it's there's something about you saying this is not my problem. Yeah, letting go is here. 
It says letting go of generosity, overspending, no control. And it's coming out on top of the six of cups. So there's something about you letting go of some letting go of something in your past or letting go of something, some kind of memories. Maybe it's something that um, <laughs> I'm hearing. Uh, forget them. That's from Inside Out when they're going through Riley's memories. And like sucking something through a vacuum and then it goes to some some memory bank where it's <laughs> you don't think about this person anymore because this could be somebody who's very arrogant there's something about when you were interacting with whoever this is that you were very unlucky I just heard in love um, this person could have been very arrogant this doesn't necessarily have to be something romantic but there's something about this was someone that you were connected to by way of your heart space. So, and your money is also connected to your heart. Whenever your heart is blocked off, your money will be blocked off. But, so this could have been a boss. This could have been family. This could have been romantic. Um, this could have been a friendship. But whoever this is, this was somebody that you cared for deeply enough that they were able to emotionally abuse a situation or manipulate something enough to the point that you had to pray and manifest boundaries that were either physical or to do with distance or something to do with the way that you communicate with this person. Because this person did something to um, that was very one-sided there could have been infidelity here. There's something about disharmony, something about a loss of balance. And when they, if this person is coming in to speak to you, there's something about them either being caught red-handed, um, confessing something. They could have been ignoring warning signs whenever it came to you and them or whatever the situation is. Yeah, they were... For some of you, this is a situation where they put you in a third party because there's something about betrayal, disharmony, toxic friendship, anger, and it's the three of cups in reverse along with um, the lovers in reverse. So someone could come in and try to confess something to you and say that they were um, being controlled by a third party or something, but whatever they're doing, they're coming in and they're doing this because they're having some kind of a, a breakdown And here's a tower. So I what I'm seeing is like someone trying to come back to you after there's some kind of justice served by way of a tower. And then it's like when they come back to you, um, you have boundaries in place that are really strong. There's something about um, you releasing whatever this has to do with because it's been unlucky. There's something about... Um, arrogance here. This could be very codependent energy. This could be somebody who's dependent on you f to react to everything that they do so that they know how to behave. But it's also about someone not behaving the way that they're supposed to be. It's like someone wants you to, to breathe just so that they can say you're breathing wrong. Um, and they could have been connected to someone and there's one or two people who could be coming in and trying to say, Oh, well, somebody else was con controlling my decisions. I only did this because of X, Y, and Z. There's something about a confession here. And it's like I'm seeing this confession and there's it's like there's a union or a reunion of an energy maybe for the sole purpose of this confession, for the sole purpose of somebody trying to explain themselves to you. I just heard a noise, so that's confirmation. There's something about someone coming in to confess something to you. But it's like when they do this, this is someone who has been very deceitful. They have lied. They've cheated, stealed. They betrayed you in some way. And they're receiving karma. And so it's like they could be coming in because they are having this tower. But there's also something about a reunion and then a death. So it's like a sort of family reunion. There could be a funeral. There could be something about a death. But there's something about someone coming towards you. And then you not accepting 
their apology or you not accepting whatever it is that they're trying to do. Like while they're having some kind of a breakdown. And it's like you releasing them once they confess something to you or whatever this has to do with. It's like there's a release of this energy and then everything transforms into something where you're showing up as the queen of cups. So it's like releasing this energy puts you in a space where you're able to operate from your heart space without, let's see. Without feeling trapped. There's something about um, you being able to see the truth. There's something about you being free. There's a decision here that you make about this reckless person to be independent. Whoever this is has been very abusive. You could be having an emotional awakening. There's something about relief here or release or like an uplifting or something heavy. Just it's like it falls off at the end. There's a decision and then it's like you are, you feel free. You feel like you're able to take a deep breath or like you're able to, like this something is finally over. There's something about you being independent and I'm seeing the word vivacious here. So there's something about that, like, and I'm not able to articulate the feeling that I'm feeling, but it is something that feels very good. It's something about being independent of whoever this is that's been smothering and hateful. Yeah, there's something about them coming in aggressive, out of control, irresponsible. This person's been a bully. And it's like your energy is balancing this also because there's something about you being assertive, um, taking direct, to direct action. And it's heroic. That's what this is showing up as. There's something about... You stood your ground and it's like you come out and you either feel like the hero or you look like the hero. You may have been like the underdog in this situation. There's something about this person being so abusive that it had the energy that could have broken you down to the point of not being able to function. There's something about you ending up in such a better place than what this person had intended. And I just heard they almost got away with it. That could be the way that somebody feels. But they couldn't. They were never going to get away with it. There's something here about you being protected and battle ready. There's something about you standing up for yourself. And the word assertive is on this card again. This um, says taking the high ground. So that could be the way that you need to handle this whenever they come in is something about taking the higher ground. But you need to know that you're protected. I just saw the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So this could have had to do with um, a family situation. There could have been children involved here. There could have been something to do with wealth or abundance or creativity. So... What is after this? The Queen of Pentacles came out. There's something about um, you being grounded, practical, business oriented. You're going to be at a place where you're going to be able to rebuild your wealth or there could be a new job that's coming up. There's something about your balance. Um that's being restored because you're able to move away from this energy of someone who has been doing something constantly to try to disappoint you or to try to take away the things that you have invested in. And if you're at a place right now where you're having issues with your finances, there's something about this balancing out. 
It may take a second, but I do see that here. At the bottom of the deck is the devil, so let's see. The devil, the ten of cups, and death. So whoever this materialistic person is who's been doing something to bind themselves to a situation, like screw up somebody's happy ending. There's something about the, the end of the cycle is here for that. This person ends up at a place where they're looking at the three of cups, like they're wanting to reunite with you and they're offered something else, but it's like they are disappointed. There's something about them having apathy or a negative outlook on life. They could be at a place where they just end up, end up in a constant state of contemplation about how this went or how it ended. They could have a lot of uh, sleep issues. There's something about this person feeling very trapped, isolated, victimized. They could end up in jail. They could end up... Um, restrained in some way so let's see what else what is the advice here The advice is to have hope whenever it comes to whatever this is that seems to have taken a long time. Have hope in this place where there's been a lack of balance and there's been a lot of um, operating out of the extremes. Like whether this was you or this person, there's something about things being extreme at all times. You need to know that you're not going to have to do that anymore. There's a new beginning here. The advice is to end this cycle. Expect happiness. Know that you have a celebration coming towards you. There's something about a happy family or a reunion or happy endings. Um, because whatever this has, has been going on, there's something about... Um, the, there's an ending here and whatever this disharmony is. Have strength in this situation because your bravery and compassion and focus are what's getting you through this and you need to have faith in yourself because there's something very good coming at the end of all of this. This reading ended with the sun and the ten of cups, so... I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. I hope this message was helpful. Thank you.